This is a patient of mine with a severe and complex Dupuytren's contracture of the small finger. If you look at the small finger, you see about a 120 degree contracture of the PIP joint. That's exceptionally severe and obviously very difficult for the patient to function. Uh, we planned a surgery with the patient to remove the contracture, um, to release the PIP joint to get it straight, and then also likely use a skin graft due to the loss of skin that would result in getting the finger straight. This is a picture of the patient inside the surgery. We did manage to get the finger very straight, did have to use a skin graft, which came from an area of the upper arm, which was closed with some skin glue and deep sutures. And although it looks like he has a lot of incisions on his hand, I would tell you that patients with this surgery, if it's done well, heal rapidly um, and generally without a ton of pain. As evidence of that, we have the patient about four weeks after the surgery, uh, and you see most of the incisions are very well healed. There's a small opening at the palmar digital crease. That's where the skin graft was. That's usually the last thing to heal. And we do see the fingers not perfectly straight. This is very typical of extensive surgeries like this where you get about a 15 degree loss of extension and hopefully with therapy we can get that back to zero. Here's a photo of the patient before the surgery. We see that severe PIP joint contracture and disease and here's a picture of the patient four weeks after surgery where we see relative straightening. If you, a friend or family member has Dupuytren's disease, we would absolutely love to see you at JIS Orthopedics.